Welcome to Real Easy Cooking with Robert. I am Robert, and today we are making salad dressing. We want to make a Greek salad, but I don't really like real Greek salads. I make something different. It's just oil and vinegar plus some spices. We can buy these cheap. Now, the thing is vinegar, so let's start with them. People always, you can get thousands of different things can be made into vinegar, basically any juice. This white natural vinegar is great for hard boiled eggs when you're coloring them for Easter. It's great for pickling things. It is not good for putting on salads because it's too harsh. Apple cider vinegar with mother in it, which is really what they're calling the slime that builds up on the bottom that you have to shake in the little bits. Red wine vinegar, we're gonna be using this mainly today. I'm kind of, for at least for one of them, we're gonna make two salad dressings. I am disappointed though, they changed it. It's a fucking plastic bottle, it's supposed to be made of glass. That was one of the cool things about it, was a glass with the ridges. Oil, let's discuss oil. This is for shit. No one should ever use any of these oils unless you're baking a cake. This is like pea. It's so clear and runny, it has no flavor. This grapeseed oil is what I use for my standard frying when I have to fry something like in the pan so it doesn't stick to the pan, it has a little flavor. Standard olive oil. Pretty much all vinegar and oils use some type of olive oil or they treat it with rosemary or they let something soak in it for so many days and blah blah blah. Uh, I don't like just plain olive oil for this. This is great for other things but instead for a dressing I do recommend a robust extra virgin. I don't go so far as to buy the really expensive ones because after all I'm mixing it with vinegar and pouring it on a fucking salad. It, it's it's not that that important. It's oil. It shouldn't be that much in there. You want to add more lemon. Now in a lot of recipes, people use straight up lemons and squeeze a real lemon, and then they tell you at the end, "Oh yeah, and your salad dressing has less than a week to use it." Well, yeah, that's because you put in organic lemons. If you use this lasts forever, this lasts forever, this lasts forever. Why wouldn't the salad dressing? Oh, because they have a real lemon in it. Instead, use this. Now your salad dressing is going to last forever in case you don't use all of it in the first salad and you only eat salad once a week like me because, you know, you don't get this body by eating salad regularly. Uh, spices. We're going to need spices. Some garlic powder, some mustard powder, oregano leaves. This is the one time I do recommend measuring, not for the liquids, but actually for the powders because I can't get that much powder without first cutting lines across the table and uh, that's going to take too long. Some oil. Let me just pour it right in the jar. Two to one to four to one, depending on who you talk to and the recipe. Not that much oil means I'll put about that much vinegar in. And let's go with, we'll make this one first. One part vinegar, two parts oil. Now, as you see that, it's separated. You shake the hell out of it. Oh, look, it's nice and pretty colored, right? But if you let it set for a few minutes, it's going to separate again. Shall we watch it? You still see quite a bit of emulsion because it didn't separate to a full level. A little bit of lemon juice. Fake lemon juice, of course. And we are going to add some mustard powder, or ground mustard, whatever, same thing. It's a gram of that. Add some garlic powder. You can use just oil and vinegar and ground pepper, and the pepper will provide enough for an emulsion to happen. 
Emulsion is where two things mix that don't want to mix, but they're made to mix. Like oil and vinegar. Oil and water. Well, there we go. It's been quite a few minutes. It's not separated. All right, moment of truth. You can see it stays pretty good mi mixed pretty well. Pretty. But any salad dressing that you make, I recommend that you taste it first. I can taste plenty of this. I can taste plenty of this. I can taste the black pepper. Lemon is good. I'll try some more. It's missing something now. Needs more lemon. And a little bit more mustard. This is where it becomes the art of making salad dressing. Feel free to mix, experiment, and find what you like. Welcome, Real Easy Cooking with Robert. I'm Robert. Ed. And this is Ed. And today we're going to be making dessert. I love when you have to bring a dessert to like a, a function or a potluck or something. This here is an apple coffee cake. You just bought at the grocery store. It comes in a little tin, a little plastic. We take the plastic after we open it and throw it away. <laughs> then we take the coffee cake, slide it out of the tin and throw that away, and you just add some more and scoop it around, spread it around. Here, do you want to spread some around a bit? Yeah. And mainly going for the big chunks there in this jar, because no one really sells just like apple chunks. And then we just drizzle some on. And try to get some on the applesauce, or apples. Just a way to take a cheap, cheap dish, make it taste slightly better, now you can send it out to people, your friends and family, and they'll eat it. 